Today, students, we're going to look at the solution now to number two multiple choice. This is from chapter three, uh, the sample quiz on page 39. Uh, there's only five multiple choice in this quiz. This is the second of five. Uh, you should have already tried this on your own. So have, let's have a look at the solution for it now. Uh, we have 3 over 2t, 3 over 2t, let me change my pen thicker, minus 4 over t squared. Okay, so 3 over 2t minus 4 over t squared. Now we need a common denominator, right? When you're adding or subtracting fractions, you must have a common denominator. So the first thing you're going to do is find the LCD between 2t and t squared. What is the LCD between these two numbers? Well, remember now you need the LCD between the numbers 2 and 1 would obviously be 2 and the LCD between t and t squared you take the higher power, right? You're going to need t squared. So we have to make both of these denominators 2t squared. Right? That's what you got to do. You got to make them both 2t squared. Alright, so let's have a look. What do I multiply the first one by to get 2t squared on bottom? I already have 2t, so what do I multiply that by to get 2t squared? Well, I multiply it by t, don't I? And if I multiply the bottom by it, I must multiply the top by it as well, because really I'm only multiplying by 1. And 1 doesn't change the equation, it just makes it look different. So on top I get 3t on this side. Over here, what do I multiply t squared by to get 2t squared? You get 2. So therefore, I have to multiply both sides by 2. Or both top and bottom, I'm sorry, by 2 right and I get 4 times 2 is 8 now I can write them over one denominator right now they're common so I can just write the top which is 3t minus 8 so the answer is 3t minus 8 over 2t squared which is B that's the solution to number 2 multiple choice sample quiz for chapter 3